I've always done creative things, a lot of craft things, crochet and things like that. But then three or four years before I retired, I started getting interested in drawing. I never really thought I could do that. My name is Ruth Ann Mitchell. I do line of cut prints. I grew up on a, a dairy farm in the Lower Fraser Valley in BC. I moved out to New Brunswick uh, in 1979. Hillsboro is a lovely village and, and the whole area kind of reminds me of where I grew up because there's a lot of farming country around and uh, it's a small town. The whole of Albert County actually is my, my place really. It, it's so beautiful here, a, a unique uh, scenery in, in so many places. We found so many lovely spots, we've explored a lot of it. One of my favorite places in Albert County is uh, the area right by the Harvey Dam, where you can look back and see Shepherdy Mountain, which is just, it's, it's such a beautiful, peaceful place. I just love going there. And so one of my prints that I've done is of Shepherdy Mountain with that reconstruction of the revolving light boat that's, that's there, that's unfortunately falling apart now, but it has been quite a landmark for me. And that, that is certainly one of my all time favorite places. It's the natural world around me that's my inspiration, and there's certainly lots of natural beauties in this area. We have birds around us all the time. I've done several bird prints. The seashells, because I love the beach, doesn't everyone? <laughs> there's so much life around us in a place like this, you know? Like, and, and the seasons, well, you know, we have four seasons. It's wonderful. I love that change and watching the change, watching the trees change, watching the flowers come up in the spring. It, it's. Uh, it's so alive. The first thing that moved me towards lino cut printing was when I was exploring book printing. I was always fascinated with the way they were put together, how, the, how they were made. Then when I did retire, I decided to make my own books. In the course of that, I discovered the whole process of printing books and how they were originally illustrated with wood cuts and that led me to exploring lino cuts and here I am. <laughs> I, I just so much enjoy doing them. It, it's it's a very satisfying art for me. One of the things I really like about it is that it's very low-tech, very straightforward. You don't need an elaborate setup to do it. First of all, I start with a drawing and I then trace it onto linoleum. I take my various tools and I, I carve away all the parts that I don't want to print. So when I'm ready to print, I'll squeeze a bit of ink out onto this piece of glass and then I'll take my uh, roller and, and work the ink until it, it kind of has a sticky sound when it's ready to use. I place the carving, roll the ink on, then I'll put my piece of paper down on it, cardboard, and then it's ready to go into the book press to be printed. I slide it in there right on the, the tray that it's sitting on and I crank it pretty tight and uh, it prints, leave it in there a second or two, take it all out again and there'll be a print on your paper. Art has, has done a lot for me. <laughs> I think it's really good for my mental health to be able to create something. The other thing that's really great about it to me is, is when people buy one of my prints and then I talk to them and that happens a lot at the market of course and they just to see people's reaction. The idea of creating art is partly for yourself but it's also wonderful when somebody looks at it and, and relates to it and, and you've made them smile. Living where I do here, out here with the view of the, the marsh and the river, it's just a lovely place to be and it's inspiring from an artistic point of view. Feels like home. <laughs>